Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, um, my name on Instagram is uh, Miss Taylor Rose with an E. Not how you spell it, it's Miss Taylor Rose with an O. Except that was taken when I freaking opened Instagram, so I was like... Anyway, so I kind of wanted to make a video um, explaining the last four years of my life. So, like, kind of my entire fitness journey. Um, half of you were like, yeah, Taylor, trust me, we really don't give a crap. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But seriously, it has not been an easy four years. Um, not that it's an easy four years for anybody, but... So about two years ago, I kind of went through this um, tragedy where uh, yeah, I lost someone very, very close to my heart. And about a week after that happened, I actually got my first job at Popeye's, um, which was sweet because it was a distraction. It was, you know, it was get my mind off of it. And I love fitness and I love supplements. I didn't know jack shit. <coughs> Excuse my voice. I still have laryngitis. Um, I didn't know jack shit about supplements. I knew absolutely nothing. And thankfully, you know, the staff there... Um, help me beyond what I could ever thank them for. It was like, my knowledge is gone from... What I'm hoping a lot of people really don't, or a lot of people grasp about me is that um, when usually people think of fitness models or, I don't know, fitness, I don't know, just fitness, people that they aspire to kind of be like or look like or, you know, people that you see where you're like, oh my God, I kind of want to be like that when I'm older. Or that's my body type that I kind of want to transform myself into. Um, I think a lot of people feel like those people are very cocky about themselves and what I hope people realize about me is that I am not cocky at all. Um, you know, I some of the shit that I do, I'm like, oh, that's, you know, yeah, sure, it's kind of impressive. But um, what I hope people understand is that when I post pictures, um, like the booty progress ones and, and stuff like that, it's not because I'm looking for you know, comments where it's like, oh my god, amazing, holy crap, this is like insane, like, you know, water emoji, like, no, that's gross, no. Um, what I'm hoping it's going to do is, you know, from that one picture, um, from the four or five hundred likes that that one picture might get, you know, I might get seven or eight messages from people asking, you know, about how I got there. And then from that, I love helping people. I love helping people. If I could, like, I just want to live to help people my entire life. That's what makes me feel whole as a person. That's what makes me feel like I am doing something in this world. Um, and, you know, from those seven, eight, nine people that message me from that one picture that I posted, if I can even help, you know, even five, six, or, you know, help me all of them, um, and they come back at me in, like, a month or two, like, a, toe, a month or two and go, you know, I've actually been doing what you told me and it's been helping a lot and I feel so much better about myself and thank you so much and this and that. That's what hits me and that's what really like makes me like emotional. And it's like, cause I, that's what I love doing is just, if I could all day, every day, just help literally everybody. And if I could not have to get paid for it, I would do that hundred percent. But you know, money is a thing and yeah, shit. But uh, anyway, so when I started that job, I was maybe about 115 pounds, 120 pounds. I had just done my first bodybuilding show. And, um, well, that went good. Uh, going into it, um, actually, the person that had um, passed away had actually told me that I just didn't have the body type to do fitness shows, um, which actually made me really, really, really want to do a fitness show. Because um, once, you know, they, they passed away and they were gone, it was like... It was more of a let me see if I can prove myself or prove him wrong, but also prove to myself that I am able to do things even if people don't believe that I can. And um, so I actually did my first show and I actually I took first. Um, it was just a small show. It wasn't anything crazy, but I was I was so proud of myself. So proud of myself. And I think from that moment on, my confidence level went from like down here to up here. I don't know if people, you know, on here knew me from when I was in high school and even in elementary school, but I was so shy. I had like peer anxiety. I had um, just, you know, stress levels were through the roof. I was quiet. I sat at the back of the class. I probably got you know, as red as a freaking tomato every single time my name got called. But um, I think the lesson that I learned from that was, you know, if I put my mind to something and not just me, but anybody, you know, if, if you really, really, really want to achieve something, um, it doesn't matter kind of what happened to you or where you come from or what kind of person you are. It's like, if you put your mind to it, you can actually, you can really impress yourself. So back to my job. Um, the lovely staff there being who they are, um, they actually hooked me up with an interview with Magnum. And 
I didn't really think anything of it because I didn't think I was I was 19 at the time. Um, so I was like, ah, oh, people don't, you know, 19, one show, you won't get sponsored. It's not that kind of thing. And, um, when I actually contacted Marcus and, you know, people from Magnum and I actually ended up getting a sponsorship, um, I felt like, you know, they saw potential in me and, you know, even my boss, Rue, I love you, um, you know, saw potential in me that I didn't even see in myself yet. And I think that kind of gave me the boost to go from okay, I want to be, like, decently fit to, like, I want to, you know, make something of myself. And I had no idea what the heck I was going to do. At the time, I was like, you know, I'm going to do figure shows. I'm going to do another bikini show. I'm going to get really fit and really lean and really this and that and that. And um, to be honest, I think I have ADD when it comes to whatever I want to do because I have changed my mind so many times in the last three, four years that it's like I can't even keep track of whatever the heck I'm doing. Now recently, like within the last year, I've kind of gone from, no, this isn't a big number because like some people have like hundreds of thousands and blah, blah, blah followers, but I've gone from around 2,000 or like 1,000 people to like seven, almost, or about a little bit over 7,000 people kind of following my fitness journey via Instagram or via Facebook or whatever the heck it is. But, um, and you know, to most people that's like, yeah, it's just a number or whatever, I don't really care. To me, that's like, that's 7,000 people caring about what the heck I do. I'm not even caring, but just, you know, enough to follow that, enough to really click that follow button and be like, oh my God, she's kind of interesting. I kind of want to follow her. Like, that's a little bit of pressure on me. But, now don't get me wrong, there's people out there that drink a little too much Haterade in the morning and they're like, they just go off sometimes. Just step back, I don't care. It's totally up to you. You know, say what you want. It's not your body, it's my body, so I don't really give a crap. I mean, there's even definitely some people out there that go, oh my God, Taylor, that's like way too much muscle. It's like, no, I don't like it, blah, blah. It's like, guess what, sweetheart? I probably don't like the way you look either. But I'd never say that to your face. But it's like, if you don't like a muscular woman, then I probably won't like you, your body. Not you, because you could have a fantastic personality, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like the attraction, it's like, you don't have to go out of your way and tell me you don't like someone muscular because I probably don't like someone that's not muscular. Common sense, people, common sense. So one of the last things I wanted to touch on was um, just if you are getting into the fitness thing and you know, you do want to, um, you know, build your profile up, build whatever up to kind of start to affect other people and try to become a role model for other people, just stay genuine. Um, I think the number one thing that I've kind of told myself is, you know, I, I need to be a real person before I am anything else. So, you know, don't, um, just be true to who you are before, you know, don't put a fake face on, you know, when you, especially at stuff like Arnold's, at stuff like, um, you know, when you're working a booth and people are coming up to you and you're all like, oh my God, this is like the best thing ever, but like have a brain, um, you know, think, talk like a real person. It's not like you're made of plastic. You're not. It's like, um, it makes a really big difference when you're, when you're actually a genuine person and you're talking to someone and someone's asking you for their opinion or for your opinion. And, um, you know, you can really tell the difference between someone who genuinely cares about you and genuinely wants to help you and, um, someone who's just doing it for their own self, you know, needs and kind of wants from, I don't know, stuff to make them feel good, you know what I mean? Okay, I'll wrap it up, but last but not least, last but not least. English, Taylor, that'd be sweet. Oh yeah, and if you don't already know me, I'm a weirdo. Like, big, big, big weirdo. Yeah, so if you meet me at the Arnold's, if you see me at the Arnold's or whatever, say hi. I'm, you know, half the time I talk in a weird accent, and that's okay. That's just me. Okay, but last but not least, um, I wanted to give a few shout-outs to a few people. One... Uh, Justine, because she is competing at Arnold's and you're going to freaking kill it this year and I absolutely know it and there's not a doubt in my freaking mind because you're absolutely amazing and your glutes are like, Oof. and like out of this, literally out of this world. And I'm like, one day, one day I'll have glutes like that. Anyway, um, Amanda Keys, because I keep looking at your uh, transformation, um, you know, going from where you were to where you are now is absolutely incredible. And if anyone has not seen her transformation, go click on her profile. Um, and she's tagged in this video, I think. Um, she will be. But, um, 
yeah, go check her out because that's kind of an incredible transformation to see. Uh, Michelle, because you are probably the number one person I've ever seen balance powerlifting and aesthetics at the same time. You know, you do the WBFF stuff and you do powerlifting and it's like the balance between the two, like the contrast between the two are so, so different, but you balance the two so well and you do both so, so well that that's kind of inspiring to me. Um, you know, I've followed you since before I was on Magnum and before, you know, I started all this stuff. So when I figured out you were on my team and you added, got added to my team, I think like a month after I got added, I was like, my heart stopped. I was like, oh my God, I get to actually talk to her in person. That's kind of sweet. Um, and Marcus, 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 because every single time, like every single time I've seen, okay, you tell everyone that you were like this big and I see the pictures of you like this big and now you're some like big jacked, awesome, you know, inspiring man on the cover of a billion magazines and that's, you know, that says a lot about a person, um, their integrity and their drive to kind of, you know, really fulfill what they want to fulfill in life and um, good for you because that's inspiring and that, you know, hits me right in the feels. And uh, last but not least, Valerie and Justine because, you know, Justine, I have not met you yet, but you're 18, I think. And the fact that you look like that at 18 and you are so dedicated and, you know, you have built such a following and such an incredible, um, you know, people behind you kind of supporting what you do is absolutely incredible. So good for you. And I cannot wait to meet you with the Arnolds and Valerie because you kill it all the time and you look incredible all the time. And I don't know how you have, you look just literally ridiculous. Um, so anyways, I will shut up now because it's probably getting boring and it's a 10 minute video, <laughs> but, um, okay. Thanks for listening. Bye. Please. I should really paint my nails.